Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this air taxi flight. Please place your bags in the overhead lockers and keep your small items under the seat in front of you. If you are seated in an emergency exit row... Is this something you want in your simulator? Well, it's actually simpler than you might think, so let's dive right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. I hope you're doing great. So, as you saw in the title of the video, today we're going to look at how to make your own custom announcements for Phoenix. Block 2 was uh, released a couple weeks ago and is now including um, cabin announcements, which are pretty extensive and quite interesting, as you could hear in the intro. So making them is a lot easier than you might think, so uh, without wasting too much of your time, we'll get straight to the point and do it. The first thing you need to do is to go to your Phoenix folder in your community folder of MSFS, go into Announcements, and here you'll see the default folder. The default folder includes all the OGG files, which will be the ones that you'll be using for the uh, cabinet announcements. What you gotta do is open each and every uh, one of them, and then listen to what the uh, to what the recording says, write it down on a notepad, and adjust it to what you will want to record on your voice recorder. So as you can see in this case, we chose the boarding complete OGG file, and notice that uh, the recording was saying cabin crew boarding is now complete. So I opened up my Windows uh, voice recorder, I think that's what it's called in English, and I recorded that with my own voice and saved the file. Now there is an alternative to this, which is using any free audio program like Odyssey, for example, Audacity, for example, um, which I believe already converts the files to OGG and you can apply already a filter as well to it. But if you don't want to download any software, you can do it with the native Windows uh, voice recorder. Make sure that when you're recording and saving the files that your name, the file name, is exactly the same as the one in announcements in default folder. Only that way things will work once you get into the simulator. And in the end, so your folder will look something like this with all the names exactly the same as the one in the default folder. However, they're going to be in most likely an mp3 file and there's going to be no effect, radio effect on your uh, on your voice, which I think adds a bit of a, a cool touch to it. So I'll explain to you guys how to add it really, really quickly. So what I did to avoid installing software on a computer is I went to voicechanger.io uploaded my audio in fact I uploaded all my all my audios uh, to this website and then went on this megaphone thing cabin crew boarding is now complete and as you can see it added the effect of a uh, sort of a radio sort of a megaphone and it looks really really cool and sounds really cool over the uh, over the PA system so all you gotta do after that is just right click and save audio as and boom you're good to go to convert this file from WAV or from MP3 to OGG and all the other remaining files, it's really simple, you don't, you don't even need to go online to do it. All you gotta do is rename the file, rename the extension of the file to OGG, say yes, and there you go. So you just repeat this process for every, every single audio file that you've done and you should be good to go. So after the recording and after the conversion, and after the addition of the effects, your folder would look something like this, with all the options possible. And in this case, I've inserted more than one boarding music, so it will randomly pick one from this list. To do this, all you need to do is just put the, the numbers in brackets, one, two, three, four, and etc. And this is a guide that you can find on a knowledge base of the, the Phoenix uh, website, which I will link in the description as well. So the question now is, well, how do I make it pick up my uh, custom pack on the simulator? Well, it's going to link to your folder uh, name. So in this case, we'll do tests, right? We'll copy the folder to our Phoenix folder announcements. And every livery that you want this cabin sounds to, to work with, it needs to have the test in the AKO code. I can show you the example from my airline, which is tax. So the AKO code is tax, right? So if I go to my liveries, as you can see, I have the tax livery here. 
and as long as the aircraft CFG states tax in the Ikeo airline field, it will work with the, that specific cabin announcement pack. It is that simple to get it to work in the simulator. So if you have any more questions about this process, I can easily reply to you in the comments and help you out. So uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment on the video and let me know. Until the next one, safe flights to everyone. See you.